In an earlier video in this series of ours, I mentioned a word that is one of my favorite words that begins with R. And I'm going to talk about that again today, but I'm also going to talk later in this video about another word that begins with R that's even more important and more valuable and more beneficial. Okay, so here we are on day 10 of our 30 videos of mindfulness benefits in 30 days, and I could not be more excited. In one of, I think it was the very first video that we were, that I was, uh, did in this series, the one that we did about focused attention, right? The ability to pay, pay attention. Now, first of all, I'm going to say any list of mindfulness benefits, no matter what the list is, who it's making, you know, who's making the list, how long it is, how short it is, it's got to, you know, it's got to include the benefit of attention. Okay, that's full stop. That's really the essence of what mindfulness is. But as I talked about in the video the other day, it's not so much about, you know, a rigid and, and unyielding attention that we, we pay, that we pay to the current experience that we're having, but rather it's more about the under the the knowledge and the recognition of when the attention has wandered away from our current experience, okay? And then bringing the attention back is sort of the easy part, right? So the word that I talked about the other day during that video, and I think it was day two actually, but the word I talked about the other day um, was returning, okay? Because again, we don't want to look at you know, presence or, or, you know, any form of mindfulness as something that's rigid and, and that we can't, you know, ever stray away from, right? That's not how the mind works, right? The mind works, as we said the other day, it, it, it wants to wander. It needs to wander. It's part of our defense mechanism that, that our mind is distractible. So, so when we practice mindfulness, you know, we, we cultivate this, this state of presence, essentially, which is the ability, which is the, the action of putting our attention with whatever it is our body happens to be doing, right? But again, it's that, that presence is a state that is constantly in a state of change, right? There's constantly, you know, sort of a spectral, you know, level of presence that we have at any given moment in any given experience that we're having, okay? So that's why the, the, uh, that word return is so important because it's, you know, mindfulness, again, sorry to repeat myself, but mindfulness is about recognizing when our mind has wandered, when our attention has wandered, and then bringing it back right? And this is what it means to be mindful, okay? Now, this opens us up to another word that begins with R, that again, I think if, if return is one of the most important words in, in the uh, context of mindfulness, then the word resilience is equally, if not more important and more valuable, Okay, so today on day 10 of our 30 days of mindfulness video, uh, mindfulness benefits in 30 videos, um, the benefit we're talking about today is resilience. Okay, now what is resilience? Resilience is the, the efficiency and the sort of rapidity <laughs> with which we return to a state of you know, we could call it regulation, we could call it a state of wellness, we could call it a state of balance, we could call it a state of, you know, within our window of tolerance, as we talked about the other day, right? But, but that resilience, again, just like the concept of returning, right, resilience is about coming back into a state that is, again, balanced, present, um, you know, adaptable, right? And so, so the, the concept of resilience or, or the thing I want to say about resilience is that, you know, none of us are going to be perfect all the time, right? There's none of us. I mean, even, even Buddhist monks who have been doing, you know, 50,000 hours of meditation in their lives, you know, they sometimes get angry. They sometimes lose their temper a little bit. They sometimes depart from that state that they would consider, you know, present and adaptable and, and, and 
kind and, and balanced and grounded and mindful. And of course, I mean, that's the Tibetan monks and the Buddhist monks out there, right? But you and me, <laughs> right? Even the person who you see who has their stuff together more than anybody else you know, that person experiences moments of the same kind of departure, right? A departure from the way that we want to behave, uh, a departure from the way that we feel is, is aligned with us, a, a departure from the way of, uh, that, that we, you know, that, that misaligns with our intention, right? Like we're not behaving the way we want to behave, right? And it happens to all of us. Every single person is going to experience this at some point. Some of us more frequently than others, yes, but everybody is going to experience it because it's the same, the same reason that the mind is meant to wander, right? We're meant to have emotions that bring us to, to different states, we're meant to have physical ex physical sensations that bring us to different states. And, you know, we're, we're meant to have thoughts and attention, things that draw us atten our attention away, pardon me, you know, at different times in different states. And that's what it means to be human, right? So, so the reason this is so important is because we never want to look at this as something like, I can't ever lose my temper. I can't ever, you know, be dysregulated or else I'm bad, right? Because that leads to many, many more and, and much bigger issues later on that, that are going to cause more difficulty for you than, than you even think you have now, <laughs> okay? So the idea then is not to rigidly adhere to some state that we wish to dwell in, but rather to work on the ability to return to that state. And that, my friends, is what resilience is all about. And on today, on day 10, this is the, the, the benefit that I want you to, to really, you know, think about and, and think about whether it's worth, you know, practicing less than 12 minutes a day to cultivate a higher and more efficient level of resilience that will help you to manage your moment by moment experience at work, at, you know, in social engagements, with your relationships, whether it's with friends or, or a spouse or children. It's going to help you in your job. It's going to help you driving your car. It's going to help you in every single way. And all it takes is 12 minutes a day. So. Questions, comments, lay them on me down below. I love hearing from you. So please, comment, comment, comment. And if you really, if you feel like there's something more uh, personal or private, you know, my DM is wide open for you. All right? All right, tomorrow's day 11. I'm really excited. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.